Now let's look at this butler Verma equation for the case of anodic bias or an anodic um, polarization or positive or potential. We said for one step half cell reaction or electrode reaction like this OX plus electron N electron to form reduced species. We said if the current net current is a function of over potential for the electrode or half cell reaction, which eta is defined by the difference of actual potential minus equilibrium potential, then the current density would be two part anodic plus cathodic. And anodic is given by the first term here, positive, while the cathodic is given by the second term. And don't forget cathodic is negative. We have a negative sign here. Okay. And if we apply a so-called anodic or oxidation polarization or bias, which means eta, the over potential, as we said by the sun convention, would be positive. Anodic means the over potential would be positive, which means the actual potential for this half cell reaction is more positive than the equilibrium potential. Under this condition, okay, let's look at the current a little bit. Let's examine the so called ratio between anodic or oxidation to the cathodic or reduction absolute value. Let's look at the absolute value between JA and JC. We said JA would be anodic positive, JC would with this negative sign be negative. But let's just look at the ratio of the absolute value. JA over Absolute value for JC, JA would be the first term times G0. JC, absolute value would be the second term exponential with J0. Of course, J0 would cancel out. This is what we have. And then mathematically, we do the manipulation. This one over exponential, but it's a negative. We would get something like this. The first term goes to here, EXP. The second term negative, but it's one over negative, so it becomes positive. And then if you notice, beta and F eta, beta and F eta, but one is negative, one is positive. Then they would cancel out. We would have exponential of N, the number of electrons transferred, F Friday constant eta over potential over RT. And in this case, because if the exponential function, it and eta, don't forget, it is for anodic, it means eta over potential is greater than zero. So eta is greater than zero means this exponential term would be greater than one. Greater than one. And the JA is positive, JC is negative, but this ratio in absolute value is greater than one, which means the net current density. J would be first term, second term. First term greater than the second term in absolute value. So J would be greater than zero. And the net current, or so-called overall current, is greater than zero, means the reaction is going from the anodic or oxidation direction, meaning the actual direction of the reaction would be from reduced species, give out electron, and oxidized into oxidized species. From reduced species being oxidized and give out electron, that's what we say would happen under so-called anodic polarization or more positive bias condition. And the current would be greater than zero, anodic current or oxidation current for the net current and the reaction is actually going from reduced species into oxidized species. That's the net reaction going from reduced species to oxidized species. Next, let's look at the butler verma equation, but this time at cathodic bias 
or cathodic polarization case. We said same for the one-step electrode or half-cell reaction between OX to combine with n number of electrons to form reduced species. The butler vomo equation describes current density J and the over potential eta by this re relationship. First term for anodic or oxidation, second term negative sign for cathodic or reduction. Okay, and the over potential is the potential difference between actual potential versus equilibrium, actual minus equilibrium. And we said by the sun convention, cathodic polarization, or sometimes people say cathodic bias. Eta means cathodic smaller than zero, or the actual potential is more negative than the equilibrium potential. Actual potential is more negative than equilibrium potential. Okay, under that condition, still let's look at the ratio between anodic current to cathodic current, but only for absolute value. Ratio for anodic current density to cathodic current density, but we only look at the absolute value, which will be still first term divided by second term, and then I collect the minus sign here because we are taking absolute value. And similar manipulation, we would have the minus, but one over, so become positive, and then this term and this term cancel out. This is what we have. Still, the ratio would be greater than zero, but in this case, don't forget, eta would be cathodic polarization, or eta would be smaller than zero. So for an exponential function, the exponent is smaller than zero, which means this whole thing would be greater than zero, but smaller than one, smaller than one, okay? Which means JA would be smaller than absolute value for JC, and the JC is negative, so the net current density J would be JA plus JC. JC smaller than zero, absolute value is greater, so J net current would be smaller than zero, which means overall reaction would be cathodic or reduction. The electrode reaction proceeds along the cathodic or reduction direction, which means going from OX to combine with electron reduce, get reduced to form RED or reduced species. Okay, so this would be the case for the cathodic bias meaning over potential for that half cell reaction is smaller than zero. And overall, it's going through reduction process. We talked about butler vomer equation at uh, anodic or oxidation polarization, at uh, cathodic or reduction polarization or bias. Now let's uh, talk about uh, this equation at uh, equilibrium. Still, one step half cell reaction, butler vomer equation is given here. J for overall on net current density, eta for over potential. Okay, J current density is related to over potential by this equation under the assumptions of no mass transport limitation. You get it by active stirring or keep the current low. So at equilibrium, we said equilibrium means the over potential is zero. All means the actual potential for the half cell or redox reaction is the same as the equilibrium potential for that half cell or redox reaction. Eta is zero, not anodic, not cathodic, not positive, not negative but it is at zero. Under this condition, the anodic current density, remember anodic is the first term. Ja would be J0 times the first term exponential, okay, here. And because eta is zero, no matter what the n is and the one minus beta is, as long as 
eta O potential is zero, exponential of zero gives us one. So the analytic current density will just be J zero, which we call an exchange current density. We'll explain about this concept in greater detail later, but analytic current would just be J zero under equilibrium condition with eta equals to zero. And the analytic is of course greater than zero. The cathodic or the so-called reduction current density would be JC, which is the second term. And don't forget this negative sign. So JC would be negative J zero times exponential term. And similarly, eta is zero. So no matter what the beta value or n values are, we would have exponential of zero, which is one, so minus j zero. And the j zero exchange current density always positive, so minus j zero is always negative. So at equilibrium, the analytic current density and the cathodic current density are not zero. Analytic is still greater than zero, cathodic is still smaller than zero, but but at equilibrium, the net current density would be analytic plus cathodic, and both absolute value is J0, but opposite in sign, so the net current would just be zero. Which means something that you already know, at equilibrium, there's no net current or no net electrochemical reaction. In another way to say it, we say the equilibrium is at equal the reaction is at equilibrium okay and because reaction is at equilibrium we are not really consuming um depleting reactant or continuous generate a product so there will be no net change in local concentration of different species okay there will be no change in concentration for different species over time despite there's always some analytic um, portion, that's always some cathodic portion, but they balance out in uh, a magnitude but opposite direction. So we have no net current, the system is at equilibrium and there's no change in concentration for different species, oxidized or reduced, there's no con change in concentration for those species.